I am embarrassed to share that in my free time, I death scrolling on popular sites like Reddit, Twitter, X, and YouTube. I've noticed that the more I scroll, the more detached I feel from the world, comparing myself to the fabricated and curated lives of others on social media. It's a self-imposed digital digestion of my psyche. However, as I continue to scroll, I stumbled upon a niche of videos that cultivate the opposite emotions. It's like that first sip of hot apple cider on a cold winter night, when your crush's name flashes across your phone after a long day, or even when you were a kid, the hug you got after bruising your knee. It captures that split-second feeling when your lousy day starts to get better. Hey, it's your boy, Win Khan. I have years of experience creating behavior modification and habit-forming techniques for myself and others. Today, I will share three evidence-based steps to use Hope Core to improve your life. All right, my fellow sad boys, let's get right into it. Now, many of you may be asking, what is Hope Core anyway? I will get to that in a bit. You don't have to be a healthcare professional to realize we are in a mental health crisis. After the pandemic, there was a well-documented rise in incidents associated with mental health concerns, such as depression, anxiety, and traumatic stress worldwide. In the age of globalization, individuals feel more alone and detached than ever. Facing these challenges, my generation and the generation after us, millennials and Gen Zs, addressed this problem the only way we knew how, through TikTok trends. Hope Core is a TikTok trend that began in late 2022 and is characterized by a message of hope, positivity, and inspiration with a sentimental tune in the backdrop. I want to share with you a quintessential Hope Core video. My three takeaways from this video and the videos like these are, first, embrace reality with optimism. When we face challenges, we can lose track of what is going right in our lives. Take an optimistic outlook on your future. This can be done by writing down what is going right in your life and snowballing that energy for the winner's effect continued success. Secondly, finding purpose in adversity. No one's life is without adversity. Know you are no exception to this rule. Resilience and grit are the cornerstones of Hope Core. If you get laid off from a job, a recent heartbreak, or the passing of a loved one, use those circumstances as motivation for your training arc. Lastly, practicing self-compassion, the golden rule, treating others as we would like to be treated is often used to encourage empathy. But what if we reversed its teachings and applied them to our struggles? What if we gave ourselves the consideration, kindness, and room for improvement we extend to our co-workers and family? Self-compassion is a mental health game changer. I want you all to remember that Hope Core embodies embracing reality with optimism, finding purpose in adversity, and practicing self-compassion. These alone will not cure depression or anxiety overnight, but it is a far better use of your time to build your grit and resilience than endlessly scrolling social media. Thank you. If you made it to the end and enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.